Hello and welcome to another video. As you can see we're starting now without my face and uh, I want to talk about uh, uploading or uploading the decoder program from Mr. Jeff Bunza to your local uh, to your Arduino. And as you can see we're now on the Arduino uh, starting page. And in order to get the program, you need to go to open, and this is all in Dutch, but uh, you will get there. And in the open manual, you will see libraries, and then you go to new dual multifunction decoder. This is the file you download from uh, Mr. Bonsa's uh, uh, site, and from this file, you go to NMRADCC and I have picked decoder uh, 7 LEDs, 17 LEDs for functions. Is that right? Yep, yeah, I've done that. And you open it here, and there you have the program. Now I want to talk about a few things in this program where you need to. Uh, be aware of if you upload it to your Arduino and that's first of all this section here there you need to watch uh, because uh, watch out for it. I thought I had ruined my Arduino but it wasn't the case I forgot something in when you have set all the values here in in the program and we'll get to that uh, later on uh, down here you have to set uh, some values here in these CVs he calls them and you have to set certain values now when you set those values you upload your deco uh, your program to your Arduino and then you can test it. But as soon as you turn off the power and turn it back on again, they will not work. When you uh, are uploading your program and you've tested it and you're gonna have changed all the values, you have to do the following and that's to take away here these two. We'll make it a little bit more clear. Those, these two backslashes, you have to take them away. So, let's do that. And my cat is playing with me here. You cannot see him, but he, uh, we have a kitten and he's playing with my hand, which is controlling the mouse. But, now, if you have taken away those two backslashes, and then you press upload, it will upload the sketch to the Arduino and every time now when you put it on the track it will do what you have set it to do. Also what you need to do is set of course your your decoder address. You have to set your decoder address and you do this here. Define this decoder address. Now it's currently set at 24. Uh, in my wagon I set it to 26. That was just a test. I'm gonna maybe uh, put in another value. I don't know. But here in this line you can set your decoder address here. And I believe they will work up to 100. Not quite sure but it also depends on your system if it supports over 100 uh, addresses uh, then it uh, might be uh, higher that it responds to but it will only work with maximum of three digit addresses so no bigger no four address uh, no four digit addresses will work though that is something that won't work so you have to take two numbers or maybe three and that will work otherwise it will not work now I have changed in my uh, decoder something else and that's the startup 
test. Now, the startup test in this decoder is that when you set, uh, you turn on the power, all the in outputs go on, and all and when they are all on, they go from high to low back off again. Now, if you don't want that, you have to take some uh, point out, and I'm looking for it now. This section we need to take out. Oh, no way, want this. This section you need to take out. If you take this part out, it won't. So, finally, I found it. If you take this part out of the the sketch, it will not uh, auto uh, test itself. So all the functions stay off. This can be, uh, yeah, I find this nicer to do. So you can just delete that and everything will still work, but it will not go do a auto test. If you don't mind and you don't mind seeing uh, all the outputs go high for a moment and then all the, uh, they all go off again. If you don't mind that, then just leave that in there. That's not a problem. But I took it out. So that's basically, uh, this is the program and uh, or the sketch. And in here, in these, uh, you can set all the values you want. And if you, um, for instance, here it says configure if you want a on off that's zero so that's a zero if you want to have a blink in blinking LED you put in a one and if you want to have a servo you put in a two if you want to have a double LED blink you put in a three and the next row here is the oh, the blink rate or the servo rate um, and there you can set the speed of the servo or the blinking speed so a fast blink or a slow blink you can set it here and the next one is the starting position so for the servo when the function is zero so for function 1, 0, if you want the servo to start at 28, the uh, setting of 28, and I believe it will go to 180, which is the maximum degrees of a servo, at least on the normal servos. So you can set it to 28 degrees, or, and when you turn the function on, the second line here, you can set the end position of the servo when the function is high, to 140 or yeah, whatever degree you want and then we go to this one I don't I don't know what this exactly is oh current position what's current position 28 I believe he this is uh, what the position is when it starts up that's what I believe because here he has end position, start position 28, current position also 28, and for all the stuff he has that the same. So, yeah, don't know what that is. I have to play with it. I've ordered some uh, uh, servos, and I've ordered some figures. So I want to put in some figures as well. So uh, yeah, well, let's uh, we're gonna see that. I'm now signing this off. Yes, I am. No.